I'm working on a project. It's in Digital Performer, let's say, and I really like some of the sounds that I can sculpt using Reason. So what to do? What I'm going to do is control or bring in the voices of Reason into Digital Performer and use Digital Performer as my sequencer. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to start by opening Digital Performer. It turns out that the order in which you open the applications does matter. If you open um, Digital Performer after you open Reason, that will not invoke Rewire, which is what we're hoping to accomplish here. So I have Digital Performer open. Now I'll open the Reason application. This is good. Now, I don't have to do too much. I'm just going to do a minimal setup. I could spend some time perfecting the sounds, but I just want to demonstrate the workflow. We have two instruments. That's good enough to get started. From Digital Performer, the first thing we need to do to make things work is add an auxiliary track and set the input to Reason. Now that we have Reason as an input, we will be able to use Reason sounds within Digital Performer. And one way to do that is to work with MIDI tracks. Create a new MIDI track, and I can set that MIDI track to those devices I've set up in the Reason application. If you're not seeing the device you want, it's because uh, you haven't opened it yet in the Reason application. So I've got Subtractor and the Maelstrom. Uh, the Maelstrom is record enabled, so let's try that out. Let's record some MIDI data. That was fun. We have some MIDI data that we've recorded, and I can edit the MIDI data, and I can work with Reason to change the sound of that MIDI information. Let's try the subtractor. Great. I've got some MIDI data now from the subtractor as well. Let's say I've edited this. I've refined the sound. It sounds like I want it to sound. The MIDI is um, all edited and it works with the rest of my project but the rest of my my project is all um, in the audio format and when I choose bounce to disk the only the audio is collapsed into a single stereo track I want to include this MIDI information and it won't work unless it's in the audio format so how do I get my MIDI data to become audio what I need to do is I've got my Reason auxiliary track sending its output to the M box, which has been fine so far because I've been listening to my project as I go along. But now I'm going to send it to bus one and two. And then I will create a stereo audio track where the input is bus one and two. So all this is doing is taking my reason output and sending it to this new track. I will record enable it. And anything that's going to bus 1 and 2 will arrive on this track. What happens when I record now? 
it will take that MIDI data with the voicing that it currently has from Reason and make it an audio track. It actually looks more dramatic in the sequence window where we can scroll down and see the MIDI data and also my new track with the input of bus 1 and 2 and we can see it as it records it into audio. And this is fantastic because now I have permanently moved that those MIDI sounds into audio waveforms that will bounce down with the rest of my composition and uh, I can bounce that to disc now and have my final stereo track to share with everyone.